Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to cover the best stretch resolution in Season 5. I've made like three of these videos in the past year, all of them have done insanely well, so since you've all been begging me to make an updated one, here the heck it is. Basically what I'm going to do is talk about the benefits of stretch res, show you guys the new and better version to get it yourself, and then finish off with some gameplay in Arena. I'm also going to explain to you why the newer method is better, even though as you'll see, it's a little bit more complicated. So please, for the love of Papa Jarian, make sure to watch the whole entire entire video through. I promise I will answer any questions you have, just do not skip ahead. Don't be Zexro. Thus, without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alright, so before I go and show you how to do the new stretch resolution method, I quickly want to talk about the benefits of stretched res. As you all should know by now, stretched res in Chapter 2 Season 5 does not increase your FOV. It used to back in Chapter 1, God bless those days, but today is the opposite. Now, the reason that pros like Saf, Calc, Coop purposely choose to lower their FOV in instead of playing on native, is because stretch res just feels better. It gets you better FPS, lower input delay, it makes characters seem easier to hit since they're bigger, it even makes your characters thick, guy ones included. Seriously though, a lot of pros just prefer stretched over native. The method that I'm gonna show today is called force display scaling. This is much different than the usual method I show, which is GPU scaling. What's the difference? Well, display scaling is just better. Not only does it make your game look way more clear and less pixelated, which most people do not like about stretch, but it also reduces your input delay even more. You see, anytime you use GPU scaling, your graphics card is going to stretch your res, which actually adds a little bit of work to it. That work, because it's not your default native resolution, will actually cause a little bit of input delay and make your mouse movements not as smooth. We do not want that delay. That's why, although display scaling is a little bit more advanced and it unfortunately will not work for everyone, we are going to try it out here today. Oh yeah, and before I forget, the stretch resolution that most pros seem to be using in Season 5 is 1750 by 1080. That is apparently the god res. To begin the force display scaling, you're gonna want to be on your desktop homepage. You can see I'm still a Nix fan. You're gonna right click, go down to Nvidia Control Panel, click on that, and then once it pops up, go on the left side. You should see all these different tabs. Click on the one under display. It says adjust desktop size and position. I have two different monitors, so I'm gonna click on my Dell. That's my main one that I want to be stretched on. And then when I scroll down a bit, I see all these different settings. This is really important because you want to be on aspect ratio and you also want to have the display scaling option under perform scaling on. If you do not have display, let's say you only have GPU scaling or you're on a laptop, then unfortunately this is not going to work. The only time it works 100% of the time is if you have display scaling. So unfortunately, if you don't, watch one of my older videos where I use stretch res on GPU scaling. I really can't do anything, you're kind of just out of luck. Back to what I was saying though, let's say you have display scaling, we're on aspect ratio, hit apply, display scaling is pretty much always better. Now why I say it's forced display scaling is because what you usually do is you'd go to change resolution, you'd hit customize, you'd make a custom res, so I just made 1750 by 1080, and let's say I go and click on it, the reason I know for sure this is not display scaling, it's GPU scaling, is that under my display settings, go down to advanced display settings, I can see by Dell, desktop resolution is 1750, but the active signal res is 1920 by 1080. These two have to be the same in order for display scaling to be working. That's why it feels kind of bad and it looks like crap. We want display scaling even though our monitor is not going to let us, thus we have to force it. How you force display scaling is by downloading Custom Resolution Utility, otherwise known as CRU. I'll leave this page down below, I'm gonna download it, go to the US download, and then once it's downloaded, I'm gonna open it, and you can see there are four different EXEs. There's CRU, Reset All, Restart, and Restart 64. All of them are important. We're gonna run this CRU first. This is the Custom Resolution Utility itself. It's pretty small, kinda complicated, but I'm gonna walk you through it. Start at the top. Where where it says your monitor. Choose the one you just chose in NVIDIA. So I'm using Dell. That's the one I want stretch res on. From there, I'm going to go down to extension blocks. I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hit edit. A little extension block tab comes up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bottom one under detailed res. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to hit copy. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not changing any of these settings. We're just going to be copying them. So okay. Before you click okay again, go to the detailed res under 
under extension blocks. This is what I just edited. And I'm going to delete the top three one by one. So I'll click it, delete, delete again, and delete. You don't need to delete the data blocks. We can leave those. On the left, establish resolutions. You can see a lot of them are checked. We don't want any of them. So I'm going to hit none. After that, standard resolutions. We don't really want any. So you can delete them all. Then you can press add. Do your standard 1920 by 1080. It's down here. And leave the refresh rate. 60 hertz is fine. The last and final step where we actually add in the stretch resolution. Go to the top right where it says detailed res. You may see one. You may see more than that. Just delete them all. Then press add. And at the top right, press paste. Do not do anything else. That's going to paste in everything we copied before from the extension block. So don't change the timing. Don't change any of the frequencies. Just change the active res to your stretched res. So mine is 1750 by 1080. All I changed was this from 1920 to 1750. I'm going to press OK. And I'm basically good to go. Make sure yours looks like this. If your CRU does not, repeat all the steps until it does. This is what you want it to look like. I'm then going to press OK. And go to the real final step. Well, I guess it's not the final final step. Regardless, come back to the download. This is where you have CRU, reset all. I'm going to hit restart 64. That's going to restart my graphics driver. It's also going to end this recording, so I have to restart it. Please, if you guys did not listen to me before and you're on a laptop or you do not have the display scaling option, this is going to make your monitor go black. If that happens, just spam F8 until it comes back or go down below and look at a guide I'll post. Both of them are going to fix it. It's pretty simple. Just please listen to me and do not do it if you have a laptop or if you do not have the display scaling option. I'm going to do it since I have it. I just restarted. My recording did end. Feels bad, man. Don't worry if your mouse and your monitor feels bad. You're probably on 60 hertz. We're going to fix that by minimizing the download. Right-clicking on our desktop like we did before. Going down to display settings. Going down again to advanced display settings. And then clicking on the display that we want changed. So mine is the Dell. It is display 2. I'm going to hit display adapter properties for display 2. This little tab with my GPU, my 3090, comes up. I'm going to hit list all modes. And now I'm going to look for the mode we created 1750 here it is 240 hertz that's what we're looking for i'm gonna press ok apply my screen went black but now we are stretched here's the moment of truth my display too yes we are display scaling desktop res 1750 by 1080 active signal res also 1750 by 1080 we did it boys we are now successfully on 1750 by 1080 the final thing i swear i know i said it was the final thing already i lied this this is for everyone who wants to go back to native in case you don't want to stay in stretch. All you're going to do is hit reset all that exe, reset all displays, and delete inactive entries. Yes. I already reset them like a minute ago, but it should say that they've been deleted. Press OK. And from there, just hit restart64.exe again. The one annoying part about resetting back from stretched is that both of these monitors are now at 60 hertz. This also is no longer my main display, so I'm just going to hit NVIDIA Control Panel, View Sonic. I'm going to go back to PC, 1920, 144 hertz. Go to Dell, PC, 1920, 240 hertz, no longer 60 hertz. I applied. Now they're both good. All I have left is display settings. Make my Dell my main monitor again. Make this my main display. Hey, there we go. Everything is good. That took like 10 seconds to reset. If you have any questions, if something does not work, go watch this video from Freethi. Freethi is the force display scaling master. He knows everything about it. The video is 20 minutes long, but I promise you it covers everything. So again, if something does not work, if something's messed up, go watch that video. I promise it will work. I'm pretty sure you guys should be able to tell this is stretch. My character is looking thick. I'm going to boot up creative real quick before arena. Remember, I did not have to go into the game files at all. None of this stuff from the normal GPU scaling method. Everything was through CRU and your desktop. Let's see settings. It should say, yep, 1750 by 1080. Full screen. That is sweet. My character is looking so thick. Oh, the craziest part is how HD this looks. This does not look stretched to me, at least in terms of how pixelated stretched usually is. And it feels so smooth, like butter. I guess I should do a little FPS test. Let me look up. Almost 700 FPS. That's like an extra 100 FPS compared to native. I'm not even on performance mode. Imagine stretched and performance mode. That would low-key be hilarious. I mean, other than that, I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, make sure 
sure to check out that Freethy guide. He goes over a bunch of different solutions, stuff like disabling G-Sync, using an HDMI instead of a display port. He is the first display scaling master, and I guarantee he will help you out. For us, however, we about to play some arena and get a quick dub. The day I'm recording this is actually Christmas, so I guarantee there are a ton of little Timmies who just got their own PCs. Are you a little Timmy? Come back here. Oh, he got stuck on a triple edit. Definitely a little Timmy. My aim is more superior than your peace control. <laughs> Holy Yes No! 13 HP! I gotta get used to this stretch res. Bro, I just got two blankets. Why do I have 60 ping? Oh my gosh! Apparently everyone is lagging out right now. I am a 60 ping warrior. Someone in my house must be downloading something because I'm getting packet lost. I guess that's my Christmas gift. It looks like my ping resolved itself. It says I'm at 9, 10. What the heck? There's only three other dudes. This was such a weird game. Everyone was just dead. Oh no. The weird zone. Yes. What was that game? That was so weird. Stretch dress, I guess, is truly the best. Just make sure you display scale it. Overall, guys, that is everything you need to know about stretch resolution in Chapter 2, Season 5. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I don't think I've said it, but also happy holidays to everyone. It's kind of late since Christmas is currently today when I'm recording, but I hope you all have a great time, spend it with your family. I love you all. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!